FNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and we still have a mixed bag out here. You've got the Dow up 132, the S&P 21, NASDAQ 176, Russell's up 3, semis are off 12, trendies are down 78, gold trading out at 1842, that's up 4 bucks, silver trading out at 2146, that's off 30 pennies, light sweet crude trade out at 10690, that's off $2.62. Natural gas is up 10 pennies, that's a nice move there. 30 year treasury up nearly 3 points. Right now, two points and 25 30 seconds. She's printed at 136.04. Let's spend a little time and go take a look at our cash indice charts out here. Actually, let's do this. We'll switch over and take a look at this, and then we'll switch to a different panel. Here, as we take a look at the cash indice charts, you'll see all the A to B equals CD down patterns, all of which were confirmed yesterday. What I mean by that is you got the bullish reversal candle to confirm a buy the D point pattern. The only one that did not complete an A to B equals CD pattern was the Russell 2000. It generated a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. Let's go switch now and take a look. So now you can see the A to B equals CD patterns. I don't have those drawn in on the white background charts. And what you will see here is you'll see those bullish reversal candles. In the case of the Dow, it was at Three River Morningstar. Price needs to take out its oscillator and change line to tell us that it really is a significant bottom. 3718 is the number. The S&P 500 right now is trading right on its oscillator and change line. Also confirmed a Three River Morningstar. If in fact the S&P 500 can close above 3782.80, which we're trading above right now that is a bullish outcome the ndx 100 gave us a bullish outcome yesterday by closing above the red oscillator and change line the uh, ndx 100 wants to go target the highs from june 2nd at a minimum and i do mean at a minimum if we take a look at the russell 2000 the cash indice my apology the cash indice did not form that roadsman to Roads went to indicator bottom. It was the Russell 2000 equity future contract. And that's fine. That's fine and dandy. We've got uh, really bottom signals across the board. TDI count bottom in the case of the uh, semiconductor uh, index, the Dow Transports, also a uh, TD9 count bottom. Now, both of those ha are going to go target their red oscillator and change lines. In the Sox, that's 2708. In the uh, Trannies, that's at 13140. Close above that, like the NASDAQ Composite has done. That tells you about a move higher. Uh, that confirmed a roads went to indicator. Signal yesterday. The New York Stock Exchange confirmed a TD nine count bottom. Folks, what the charts are telling you, not Stevie, what the charts are telling you is we've got a bottom in place. That bottom is likely to last for two to three weeks. Stay tuned. Your favorite polo bear, David White's up next. I'll see you tomorrow. A terrific Thursday. You all have a wonderful Wednesday.